in a world where yeah. there's an accordion vine. Come play me a pool table, fuck nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on to you in the back. Yeah. Confetti in the back. Yeah. I don't never fall though. That shit crazy. It's your boy DJ Academics and now, yes indeed. Now what you guys just saw was Rowdy Rebel. He sent out a public invite on Instagram saying all you fuck boys, you come to Quad Studios and can play pool with him. Now, this was a public invite he posted on Instagram. Now, it's a common saying in other parts of the country like Chirac to say, yo, don't leave your fucking location on. Now, the reason being is that, hey, unless you, you want to invite people you don't want to come get you, you don't do that. Now, when he invited people, he probably thought some thotties were going to come through, probably thought some, some friends were going to come through, some fans. No, 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 no. The NYPD showed up, and when they showed up, they locked up Rowdy Rebel, they locked up Bobby Schmurter, and not only them, they also locked up Epic Records executive Sean Money XL. Now, you guys should have all heard this because it's been buzzing on social media the whole day, and yet, police are saying these arrests, and they did a whole sweep of it. Apparently, over 20 people got arrested. It was the result of over six months of great investigative work by the NYPD. Now, pretty much... In short, Bobby Schmurter, Rowdy Rebel, and the rest of GS9, they're supposed to be arraigned tomorrow in New York court and to find out, if anything, what they're going to be charged with. Now, police have said, listen, it's a sealed indictment so they can't give out too much information on what's really going on, but all they're going to say is that uh, uh, their investigation had to do with things of a violent nature, also narcotics being trafficked, also credit card scams, and even bodies being dropped. So, yeah. Listen, the prosecutors, they're keeping super quiet on it because it's a sealed indictment. And that makes me think, yo, hey, this might be some type of conspiracy charge. They're not trying to say too much until they get everybody they, they kind of swooped and got in court. So it might be something big. Kind of feels like to me some shit where they have a fucking press conference. They put fucking guns on the table. They put fucking dust or powder or some type of narcotics on the table and said, we fucking got them. Or somewhere where they got a fucking whole crime organization broken down saying, we got all of these fucking criminals. So it doesn't look too good for fucking Bobby Schmurda. Now, I've been telling all y'all, right? Y'all can't say I've been telling y'all, right? Every time these fucking rappers, they come out and they say, yo, the feds are watching. And then when they find out that the feds are really watching and the feds can arrest them, they are fucking surprised. Now, Bobby Schmurter was arrested like about a month and a half ago, and it was just on some marijuana charges, but he even said it. He said the hip-hop police is fucking with me and they're watching me. Now, well, the hip-hop police just kind of got you again. You're now arrested again. Now, listen. Bobby Schmort is already out on bail for the gun charge he called like a couple months ago. So now, because his bail was extended, that he it was extended to January, his bail probably will get rescinded, and these new charges, who knows what it's gonna be. So, imagine Bobby Schmurter down at the precinct. What the fuck? If you're a Bobby Schmurter right now, what the fuck are you down at the precinct saying you're trying not to go to jail? Your career been popping. This is a time you need to be free and need to be able to travel. He's probably down at the precinct right now saying, listen, man. Those guns ain't mine. They belong to fucking Mitch. That nigga own all the guns, just like he just caught a body. There's probably some telling going on. Come on, we got to keep it real. What really happened is probably that Epic Records just served up Bobby Schmurda as an Illuminati sacrificial lamb just to get some tax deductions on their fucking 2014 taxes. It's fucking tax season, right? Now, Listen, if Bobby Schmurda had all those skills he had in the hot nigga video when the police came in, because they're saying they found 20 guns. 20 fucking guns. That, that makes me think like, yo, is being a fucking rapper in New York that stressful? 20 guns? Now, if he had the talent of fucking just throwing the guns up in the air and they never coming down just like his hat in the fucking hot nigga video, he'd be free. But obviously, that didn't work. They're saying they recovered or seized over 20 guns. That's not a good look. Now... I'm looking around, and I'm like, what the fuck? I is this shit real? Really? I'm looking around like, why y'all motherfuckers at my listeners? Why y'all ain't tell me? I was over here for the longest thinking Bobby Schmurter wasn't a low-key super savage. I thought he was on some Nickelodeon shit with all those finger guns dancing around like he just ran off the set of Wild Thornberries. 20 guns? 20? Oh, shit. This nigga had pretty much T.I.'s 
whole 2007 Arsenal that he got busted with before the BT Awards, man. This shit is serious, man. And I'm thinking like, yo, I was over here for the longest thinking Bobby Schmurder was on that lean with it, rock with it shit. I didn't think he was doing some real shit. But yeah, think about it, though. If Bobby Schmurder has to do a bit, who's going to be the hottest rapper that's coming up in New York? It's going to be by default Troy Average. Troy Average is going to be back to restoring the feeling. He's going to be blessing you with all those key mixes and how much he's been moving that coke. So, yeah, man, listen, I don't know. I really I don't know how he gets out of this one because this shit looks serious. I mean, it, it, just to take away from a show, I kind of like it. I, he probably hope he's on a, uh, on a fucking episode of How to Get Away with Schmurder. He could probably call up Annalise Keaton, try to get out of this shit somehow, but this shit doesn't look good. I'm hoping they don't drop a fucking murder or some type of conspiracy for a murder on him or his crew. We're hoping, but we don't know. We're going to get more information tomorrow, and listen, whoever this nigga Mitch is, now is when he need to check in the fucking game. He need to come out and cop to bodies for Bobby Schmurter just like Weebay ate those for fucking Avon. We need somebody to step up, man. We need somebody to fucking step up, but we're going to see. But right now, Bobby Schmurter, he's locked up. Apparently, he's supposed to appear in court tomorrow to hear what charges he is facing and exactly what's going on. Police are kind of keeping it quiet, and if they're keeping it quiet for this long that they could appear in court... This doesn't look too good. So, you guys get in the comment box. What do you think? Do you think Bobby Schmurter's career is fucking over? Do you think he had a good run? And if he's going to jail, do you think, listen, man, Epic Records is probably just this nigga off as a tax write-off, and they're probably chilling, just hoping he gets locked up. Come on now. Come on now. Because I watched that video where he was performing for those people at Epic Records. I'm like, yo, listen, man, one of these motherfuckers probably call the police, man. This shit don't even look too right. So, get in the comment box, man. Make sure you guys are following me on social media, at I'm Academics. I'm out.